it's time for another Tuesday video. Stuff's chugging along here, and today we have one task, and it is finally to break down the Fluval 24 gallon mixed reef tank, move it out, move all the livestock out, and install the tank over here that you can't see, which is the JBJ 65 gallon. But before I do that, I keep forgetting, I need to thank our Patreon members. So please, take a list here. Nathan R, Keevan F, Joanna W, Laura S, Jackie R, Max, Joshua, Trey S, George Y, Paul R, C3 DPO, Ryan G, Art M, Ryan L, Darren D, Rodney C, and Lester V. Thank you guys for being Patreon members. Your support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to become a Patreon member, all you got to do is go to My First Fish. No. All you got to do is go to patreon.com slash My First Fish Tank. Here, come in. Come on. Okay, sorry, we're having a play date. That was a play date interruption. Patreon, patreon.com slash my first fish tank, or just click on the link below. It really helps support us here since we actually don't charge for any of the stuff and we don't actually make very much money. There are three tiers from $2, $5, and $10 per month, and you get tons of content, exclusive behind the scenes videos, weekly posts. You get a direct line to me via the chat if you have any, any, any questions or anything you need. You also get entered in a monthly giveaway that we do. If you enter at the $2 level, you get one entry. $5 level, you get three entries. And the $10 per month level, you get seven entries. Our winner last month was Darren D. He won a $25 gift card. But as we get more Patreon members, we're going to up and up and up the giveaway value. So hopefully someday you'll be entered for something $100, $150 every single month. So if you like our content, please consider subscribing to Patreon. And thank you to all of these wonderful Patreon members. I hope you guys are finding it valuable. Let's get into the video. Oh, I am super orange. Why am I super orange? Because I'm gonna take you in to show you what we're gonna be doing here. And if I'm orange, that means this will look really good. Let me turn you around. All right, here's the skinny on this tank. Remember, this is the, the Fluval 24 gallon. I've had it set up for quite a while but I really just want to make it larger. So that's the tank that's going in right there. Sorry, it's super orange and super dark. So what do we need to do then for this? Well, obviously we need to take down the Reef Breeders lights. I still may use them, but unfortunately I threw away the mounting arms like some sort of idiot a while ago, or I gave them to somebody. I can't remember what I did. So in order to mount them over here in the corner, I'd have to do some sort of huge ceiling mount. I don't really want to do that. This is going to become a invertebrate quarantine tank. That's it because this is going to become a frag tank. No, sorry. This is going to become a hospital tank only. And then I ordered a new tank, which is going to go over there, which is going to be the frag tank. And next to the frag tank, we'll have the invert tank. And really what I want to use this for in the short term is quarantining new anemones. I've just started giving all of my new anemones a treatment of Cipro. And I'm just going to keep doing that because it seems to work. And I have a couple gaps over here. I could probably use a couple big anemones here and then a couple big anemones here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So what do I need to do over here then? Well, first of all, I need to move the livestock. We have two clownfishes, that Wyoming white and that true percula. I got two Bengai, no, pajama cardinal fish. Got to move those. I have a blood red fire shrimp and then hiding out underneath here in the A-can is a pistol shrimp. Then of course I got all of the corals, so I'm gonna take the corals, the euphelia here, uh, the acans, the hammer corals, and move them over to there. I'm gonna try to like salvage some of this and make a couple frags out of this SPS. I'll probably take this toadstool coral and find a new home for it over here in the extremely orange under natural lighting, seahorse macro algae tank, and I think I think that will be about it. Got to take the tank, clean it, sterilize it. The big question I have is, I think I'm going to have to put the clownfish back in this tank. So I'm going to put them in a holding pen for now. But I think I'm going to put the, the cardinal fish, two of them, I bet you, if I move them over here to the harem tank, I bet you they'll be okay. Because I have never seen any one of these clownfish even attempt to go after the cardinal fish. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take the pistol shrimp, I'm gonna move the pistol shrimp over here because I also have a shrimp goby over here and they will be paired up well. And my seahorse expert Felicia tells me that those two will go fine with the seahorses. Without further ado, let's get started. You know that I'm a keep it cool with 
you, I feel like breaking rules on the edge, looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us two, playing around without a clue on the edge, screaming out. With us, it's all or nothing. Somewhat miraculously, I think, I actually got all of the livestock moved. I think there's probably still some snails, maybe some hermit crabs in the sand bed. So when I actually clean that out, what I'll do is I'll, I'll sift it so I can catch them all. But everything's been moved. I moved a few snails, a conch, I moved the pistol shrimp, and another toadstool mushroom over to the seahorse tank. I just did a really fast drip acclimation. It was really just a temperature acclimation. In here, uh, second half of this video, I gotta clean this out. This thing is going to be disgusting and I wanna sterilize it before it becomes another invert quarantine tank. I still do have those, see in this little blue bucket right here? Two of those clownfish because I don't have a home for them. So I'm gonna have to leave them in that bucket until I get this tank cleaned and sterilized. And luckily I do have a air stone. I just got to go get it and put it in there because they'll probably have to be there overnight, which I don't think is really a big deal considering they ship them overnight, especially with the Arizona. I think they'll be 
totally fine. But once that's clean and that goes in the corner, I'll be able to put the fish back in there for now, at least until I get the new tank set up. And then my frag rack is so freaking full right now. I just filled it up and it's good for now. It's good for now. I, I think I'm expecting my new lagoon tank, 25 gallon lagoon tank today or tomorrow. And I'll get that set up as soon as I can before this new job begins. That way I can move all the frags over to there and then set this up just to be a fish quarantine, turn the lights way down so we don't get a lot of algae growth. And then in the harem tank, all I added were the two pajama cardinal fish. As of now, as I expected, the clownfish aren't even interested in them. So I think they'll be a really good addition. And then I put some snails and some hermit crabs in there. It is 12 o'clock, which means it's time for lunch. And we'll be back at this in about an hour. might happen and it did see if you can see it's really hard to see right in the back it cracked and I knew it was gonna crack look at this look at this see this 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 tank here and I've had it forever has this this bottom section see if you can see see this right it's right here see this it's right underneath here and it's this automatic draining system at least it's supposed to be right down there and that means it doesn't sit level. So when I fill this thing up with water, because it's not level, the bottom cracked. And that's fine, I've had this thing forever. I was gonna reuse it, but instead now I'm just gonna go to uh, PetSmart or Petco and pick up a 20 gallon tank and that's totally fine. So we're gonna do a little emergency draining. Gracie, do you have my... Thank you very much. The daughter is being helpful today. Place that in here. Oh, Ugh. tastes like vinegar. All right, this one will go straight to the trash. Thank you, Fluval M60. You have been good to me for five years. Five years. Hi. Been a while. Thanks, Fluval. Well, I got water everywhere. Good thing I stopped it when I did. All over the floor. It's not just water. It's nasty vinegar water. I used. <laughs> I used both of these. So I just reek. Look at my pants. They're just like covered in water but here's 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 the crack ready you can see it pretty easily now if i can put my finger on it Let's see here right there all right focus on my finger please right there huge all the way down to that drain line which was a good idea but i never used that stupid drain line so it doesn't even matter so this is going directly into the trash oh that's kind of pretty artwork though that's two and a half years worth of <laughs> of algae buildup. Really pretty. Greens and reds and purples. And water on the floor, which means I gotta scrub the floor tonight and clean up everything. Downright pleasant. Oh. Damn it, Matthew! I, it's the third scratch I put on it. I swear to God, sometimes, I don't know, brand new car. Thank you, Fluval. And not only that, but my daughter was almost killed when the bike almost fell down on top of her. There's the tank in the trash, which is not ideal. Now it's going to kill somebody. And that fell down. Yikes. Now we got nasty vinegar water on our shoes. New scratches in the car. What else did I do out here? Oh, vinegar water all over. The floor, vinegar water on here, sand on the floor. Disrespect how you feel, but baby, I'll never go that far, cause I know better than that. It's day two, everybody. Can you see the sleep in my eyes? I just, I just woke up, had some breakfast, and now I got this huge mess. Let me, let me show you guys the mess because pretty much the rest of this video is me putting stuff together, moving the new tank into place, but you guys should just see, see how bad this looks. Here you go, look. Okay, here it is. So this is the new lagoon tank. Then we just have random buckets sitting here, right? Look at this, I, I haven't even emptied, I haven't even emptied my buckets of water, full of water. Over here is where all, <laughs> 
All the goodness happened. All the wires got to be done. I think I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take these two Kamor dosers. And I think I'm going to start them over here, dosing phosphate and nitrate because man, those are going down. But look, just water everywhere. Water. I still have the rocks here. I mean, it's just a huge mess. But I mean, I got to keep going because guess what I have right here? Let's see. Let's see if I can turn the light over here. Look, 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 look. Ready? I still have two homeless clownfish that are just sitting there and they were there all night because there just wasn't a spot for them. Oh, now the kitties are coming to say hi. Goodness, this is turning into quite the endeavor. Hi, it's a scout. Okay, I got a lot to do. I got a couple appointments today, so I can't work all day. But let's get started and we'll see how we end up. Probably no aqua skating today, right? No, I haven't been here for a while, but one thing I do know is that Petco does not like when you film inside their store. I know that from experience. I was accosted once for filming this. So you have to get permission. I guess they don't like it when people film, I don't know, the conditions of some of their animals or something like that. But I'm here for one thing, if I can figure it out. All I need is a 20 gallon aquarium for the 20 gallon aquarium that I broke yesterday. So let's go find that. And I'm gonna not film so I don't get yelled at. You know, now that I'm here, I think I have a 10 gallon tank at home. I'm not positive, but I don't really wanna get what 15 gallon or a 10 gallon if I have one. But I'm racking my brain and I just can't, like what happened to that 10 gallon one? I must, I don't think I broke it, right? I gotta have it at home, so let's just go home. You know, I don't know what I was thinking. I have a tank. I have a tank. Of course I have a tank. I mean, check it out. And it's like perfect for, for what I need it for. I think you even have two, yeah, look at, uh, Matthew, look at this. I almost bought another tank and I have two tanks. Okay, I got, is this a 20 gallon? This might be a 20 gallon. And then this is the one I'm gonna use. Remember that Nuvo Fusion? It's two 10 gallon tanks. That's perfect, because I can do like an anemone on one side and then on the other side, I can do inverts. So that's what we're gonna use. Okay, so I found that I actually have two tanks at home. So I'm glad, even though I wasted a trip to the store that I didn't buy anything. But what I really want to do now is I got the 25 gallon lagoon tank, which is becoming the frag tank. And I wanna get that set up, but I basically have this entire corner. Check it out, see this? This is where everything is going to be going. So I'm going to have right here the lagoon tank and right here I'll put the innovative marine fusion or I'll put that 10 gallon tank, whichever one ends up working. So let's get those set up so that I can clean up all this gear, figure out what goes where. I got all sorts of new gear up here that goes with the new tank. So I just want to get organized and settled so that we can begin the next project. Let me show you what love is and why it's beautiful. Just put your body on top of mine, yeah. I'm gonna treat you the same way as all the girls who have no shame. No, I die for you. They've been cruel to you. Saying things they don't mean, they've been rude to you. Disrespect how you feel, but baby, I'll never go that far, cause I This isn't really a problem, but one of my pseudo problems I have right now is, is what lights to use. Cause I need one light here that's gonna be good for growing corals, right here. And then I need one light here for the anemones, but I typically like to do my anemones with the same lights. So I'm using the AI Primes. And then for this tank, I bought a new AI, whatever you call it, 32. It's the AI, just the larger one. So the lights that I currently have available is this light because this will become a fish only tank pretty much. And I don't need really any sort of decent light. I also have, let's see what else do I have? 
let's see, this is the Prime HD for one of the tanks. I have this MJ165. That might be a really good option for the new frag tank. But I think I might have, oh, I also have the Reef Breeders light still right down here that I could somehow mount. But let's go to the garage. I, I may have, I may have some more lights in the garage. I think I have like some Kessels, some Refugium lights. I think I just need to like lay out all my lights so that I can kind of make sense of it. Because right now I just can't, I don't know. I, and then what other gear am I gonna use? You know, what other filtration gear am I gonna use? So let's see, over here. Okay, so I have this little, this is like a Refugium light, I think, uh, Phoenix. So let's take that one. That's one of them. I have this Core Life T5 fixture. I could use that, but I can't use that when it needs the anemones. This is low light, so this would be for like a fish only tank. So that's probably not gonna work, but let's see what else I got here. Um, oh yeah, so I got the Kessel Tuna Blue. That doesn't put out a lot of par but it's decent. It really is decent par level. Do I have anything else? So I think I just have these two and I think that should work. I don't know, I, I, the, the real trick is I just wanna keep things consistent for the anemones and for the corals. I don't want huge changes in par levels and huge changes in a uh, spectrum. So let's lay these out and then I think what we're gonna do is we are gonna go find all of the gear, just pull out a ton of gear and then just set them inside the tank for now so that I get all the gear in the right spots. Guten, guten Tag, guten Morgen. I don't, I don't know any German. Just crazy. I don't know any German. Cool. Good morning, everybody. Today's day three, day four. It's day three or four, and these videos just keep happening. And I finally got word that I'm going to be starting this new job, and I know the new videos I'm going to be making. But I probably have a good week, and that gives me enough time to finish all these projects. Yesterday, I added one, two, three new tanks but I still have this giant mess and a few things I need to do to get those tanks ready to go because they're all very specific. So it's, it, it, it's gonna be done today. We're, we're, we're gonna finish it today. Man, my stutter comes out sometimes. I don't know why it comes out. <clears throat> anyway, so let's do a few projects and then at the end of today, when everything's put together and everything's done, I'll give you guys the grand tour of the gallery and it should look a lot better. You're playing your cards with your queen of hearts When everyone folds your forge to holes You're placing your bed, showing no regret Close your eyes to hide you got me I've been working all morning on this corner and I'm freaking exhausted. But let me just give you a little update before I finish. I'm not going to finish today, but at least a couple more hours worth of work. So I at least got both of the tanks set up. We got both Innovative Marine. This is the 25 gallon Lagoon. And I went ahead and I have the max spec lights on there. These are the, the, the jump lights. And then I'm using my old MP10. And then all I did was I just super organized the wires and I used these, the, the, this nice little tie thingy to kind of keep it looking nicely. And then on this side, same diff except two separate. This is the Encore, remember this one, the Encore? And right now I just got the clowns over on this side. This will be for the anemone I ordered, an anemone quarantine tank, 10 gallon, 10 gallon. 
And so for this side, I got the AI Prime because I want to keep my anemone under the same lights that I have my anemone tank, just so that there's no differences. And then this is just the little Reef Breeders Moonlight, which is perfect. It puts out almost no par, but that's exactly what I need for this side. I don't really need any par because this is going to become like, like a an invert quarantine tank. And then in the back, same thing, right? Just use these two little cords and that seems to work pretty well. But the big problem I ended up facing was down here. You guys see that, that two by four right there? This is a uh, Scansa, I don't know the name of it. Scansa desk, it's super solid. My neighbors gave it to me. It's metal all around, it has a metal crossbar. Super heavy, like really, really heavy. And I was going through and I was doing all the wire organization, which you guys can see over here. It's nothing perfect, but you know, I got the wires organized on this side and I got the wires organized on the other side. I mean, it took all morning to organize those stupid wires. And then I stepped back. I stepped back literally like this and I looked at this and I just saw this going down and so I got out a level and there was probably a good I don't know what I would call it, less than a quarter of an inch you know but a significant a significant level going down I'm like oh man that's not good so I went ahead and I took the two tanks and the first thing I did is is I pushed them backwards because I figured it would be better to put them next to the crossbar <clears throat> in the middle. So I went ahead and I pushed them towards the back so that the center of each tank will be over that middle crossbar and I hope that will help. But then I was like, man, it's still going down and even that metal bar was going down. So all I ended up doing was I ended up cutting out that two by four and I hit it into place using the little soft mallet right there and that helped immensely. So I'm really hoping that's gonna be fine because I thought this table was gonna be strong enough from the get-go, but it wasn't. So I hope this ends up working because this corner is gonna look real nice when it's done. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a blast. Got an invisible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft.